Hey, what's up guys? Growing the Hobby coming back to you guys with another hockey break, another hockey subscription box break. Yeah, that's right, it is not the GTH box today that we all seem to know and love on this channel that's pictured there in the background. Uh, you know, my loose take there kind of on a loose pack break. Uh, we're going to do an actual subscription box for the second time on this channel, that is with this box in particular. We did our first one last month, we're doing it again this month. We got the Wax Box Club, that's right, the hockey edition. Uh, this comes in at a price point, I believe, of about $100 Canadian, which translates roughly to, you know, $75-ish, give or take, uh, U.S. Um, so that's a pretty good deal and stuff for what you normally get, at least from what I've seen with this product. It's a pretty cool little thing. comes in this box right here. Uh, this month, they actually did a themed box. This is, like I've done many times with my GTH box, the McDavid Chase, uh, that I like to do quite a bit with my boxes. They are actually doing a McDavid uh, Chase, I guess, or, or McDavid, uh, you know, version of this for the month. This came in, you know, very late July for me, so I think this is probably going to be considered the July box. It's going to be different than the August one. Uh, I'm not exactly sure. You guys can check on their website for yourself if you guys are interested in one of these, uh, which I believe they have, yeah, social media is on the inside of the box. I will put links in the description as always if you guys want to check this out for yourselves. But, uh, yeah, I probably should have thrown up some of my awesome McDavid cards. You guys know I got quite a few of those. Probably should have thrown those up in the background today, but uh, through a couple of the decent hits that I've pulled from my own GTH box here recently on the channel. So I decided to feature those on here and try and mix things up a little bit. That being said, let's get into this and see what we got other than a whole ton of packing peanuts, which I'll actually probably pull this over here, dump out a bunch of these packing peanuts so we can just get to the packs. I see it looks like there is some literature kind of tucked away in here. I'll show you guys this back here. I'm going to grab this stack and pull everything out of this box. Another packing peanut there, kind of stuck. All right. Feature the box here in the background. Once I can hopefully get it closed. There we go. Throw that up there. Let's check out our literature and then we will check out the packs. There's our little pack stack there. Kind of fly through this because I don't think you're guaranteed all these packs. This is uh, kind of what the the pull of what they pull their packs from. Uh, so you get some of these packs, but not all of them. You guys can check it out here. The featured packs and stuff, the Connor McDavid Chase, along with the hit ratio. These are all 15, 16 at the top, obviously. So you got full force hobby packs, uh, portfolio hobby, champs hobby, series two retail, series two hobby, OPG hobby, uh, MVP hobby, and world juniors hobby. Extra packs that they pull from looks like uh, mostly 2021 stuff. You got extended series, series two, MVP, and then 07, 08 victory. Um, so let's check this out and see what we got. I can see we already have one pack that wasn't on the list. 1992 OPG Premier. I'll take that any day. That's a pretty cool retro pack there. 2021 extended uh, to go with the 07, 08 victory. So there's a couple of the extra packs. Here's 1516 stuff. Looks like this is all the remainder stuff is going to be 1516. So we got our Canada Juniors Hobby Pack there. We got Full Force Hobby Pack, uh, 1516 Series 2, and that looks like that is a retail pack, so that is not a hobby pack there. Uh, we got Portfolio, which is a hobby pack. Uh, what do we got here? This is OPG, this is a hobby pack. MVP, which is hobby, and Champs, which is also hobby. Uh, some of these, McDavid is not alive, and I want to say MVP and... I think OPG, perhaps. I th yeah, I'm pretty certain that uh, he is not live. You cannot find his rookies in here. These products were before he came out, so those are probably going to be like kind of null and void. I think that he's live in the remainder of these. I know that there's been mixed things on champs. I can't remember off the top of my head. I, I swear you can pull live McDavid autos out of here, but I could be wrong on that because I've heard also that you can't. Um, I know you can get his rookies in here, but maybe not the autos. Not positive on that. Um, and we'll talk about these others as we kind of come to them. So we'll kind of set those there. We're going to do the outlier packs here first. So let's start with the uh, the oldest pack, 1992 OPG Premier. Let's see what we can find in here and what that's all about. Back when OPG was, uh, you know, kind of the transition right around that time, actually, when OPG used to be the most desirable set in comparison to Tops. You know, through the uh, you know 70s, 80s, and stuff like that, then OPG kind of transitioned. The most desirable set being Upper Deck, but uh, Denny Savard right off the bat got a nice original six card there. The Montreal Canadiens, the Habs. That's a pretty cool little card right there with Eric Desjardins on the front. 
Ray Shepard, Thomas Sandstrom, Cujo. That's pretty cool. Uh, that is not his rookie card, but that is pretty doggone close. Adam Graves, Steve Duchesne, and Barry Pearson. So nothing too, too crazy. I like that Cujo, though. I think we'll do 0708 Victory. Uh, you can't get some good rookies in here and stuff, but uh, it is Victory, so the value is quite a bit less than, say, Upper Deck in comparison, just plain Upper Deck, flagship stuff. But 0708, you're talking, uh, what, Carey Price, Jonathan Taze, Patty Kane, to name a few of the big ones. I mean, there's definitely others as well. I think Tuka Rask is mixed in there as well, possibly. All right. Mike Richards, there was a little bit of stickage if you guys didn't notice. Ole Jokinen, Brian Rafalski, Jay Bomeister, Tamu Solani, and on the end we get the Stars on Ice for Marty St. Louis. So there you go, nothing really crazy in that pack. Let's do our extended series hobby pack right off the bat. Let's see if I can get another uh, Arthur Kaliev rookie. Pulled one of those young guns so far from uh, the hobby box I opened to this. There's some other decent ones in there too that just Kind of haven't come to bloom. They got some good inserts in here. We'll see what we get. All right, so we start with uh, TVR, Trevor Van Riemsdyke, Leon Dreisaitl, uh, James Reimer. We do have a Young Guns. It is Callum Booth. Not sure if I have that one yet on my checklist or not, but Callum Booth, Young Guns. I'll take that. Connor Timmons, uh, Nick Cousins, Colton Sevier, and Jack Johnson. So a Young Guns. I'll take that any day. All right, McDavid Hunt time. For the most part, like I said, uh, a couple of these. All this is 15, 16, but a couple of these I do know that McDavid is not live in. So uh, I guess we'll do the 15, 16 OPG hobby first. Maybe we can get a cool different pull of somebody else that's not McDavid. Some other good ones in here. I can't remember if they're live in here or not, like Miko Rantanen, um, Max Domi, uh, Jack Eichel. I mean to name a few. But anyway, Eddie Lack starts us off. Yuri Hoodler. We got ew, a little mini there, Johnny Hockey, Johnny Gaudreau. It's interesting right there. Can't remember the name of that one, but that's a pretty cool little card. And we got a retro rookie of Andrew Kopp, Troy Brower, Michael Camilleri, Anders Lindback, and Chris Kunitz. Cooney. So not too, I guess not too bad, I mean, for what you can get out of that. 15-16 MVP, it's a hobby pack. See what we can pull in this product. Jordan Eberle starts us off. Roman Yossi, Bo Horvat, and we got a blue rookie. I think they're all blue actually for the rookies, but uh, Brendan Ranford, Jason Palmville, Silver Script, Blake Como, and Kyle Turris. So we did hit a rookie. All right, so five packs left to go here. I'm actually going to do it in. To, we're going to do this order here. Kind of at least the order I'm most, uh, least excited to most excited in. So Series 2 Retail. It's kind of the same thing with, with uh, Series 2 Hobby for the most part. You're looking for the canvas Young Guns of Connor McDavid, which is going to be an absolute needle in a haystack. And I can tell you already, it's not going to be in here. We do have something foily, though. That could be an OPG update rookie of Connor McDavid. That would be cool. Um, we'll see though. I have a feeling it's probably maybe one of those three star things or something, but uh, shining stars. Brennan Gallagher, Andre Palat. No, it is an OPG rainbow update that could be good. Andrew Cogliano, Colin Miller, Colin Miller, not the guy we're looking for. That would have been sick if that was a Connor McDavid right there. That would have been a really cool pull because I do not have the uh, the update rainbow foil of uh, Connor McDavid from OPG update, but still a Colin Miller, not bad. Jason Palmville. Corey Perry, Ryan O'Reilly, and Drew Stafford. All right, 15, 16 champs. Hoping for the auto of the box. You get one auto per hobby box. I think it's I'm not positive, but I think it's like 24 packs in there, or 20 packs maybe, I don't know. But they're on card, and they're very good looking and stuff. All right, so David Pasternak, the pasta man, Tyler Ennis, Jake Furtanen, rookie. Got a gold, Nail Yakupov. His golds are not numbered or anything like that, if you're wondering. But uh, Michael Froelich and Dustin Brown. All right, down to our final three packs. We'll start with Portfolio. All three of these are hobby packs. I think Ziri did this box already, and I believe he got a uh, From the Wire or something like that. I can't remember the the kind of black and white card there, Connor McDavid. Yeah, there's a nice Wayne Gretzky there right off the bat. I'll take that. 
Oscar Clefbaum, Charlie Coyle, yeah, wire photos, that's what it's called. Uh, he actually pulled the McDavid version of this, which is technically a rookie card. But uh, pretty cool. Devil's goaltender, 35 tracks of puck during the... Uh, there you go. You can read it for yourself. That's pretty cool how they do that, kind of like from a news clipping and stuff there. Corey Schneider. Christopher Stieg. Doug Harvey. That's an old school one right there. Henrik Sedin and Martin Hansel. All right. Canada Juniors. I've gotten some really good pulls out of this before, and this... Maybe it's just me. I mean, they put a decoy in here most times, but it feels pretty thick pack. We'll see. Is it just a decoy? Probably. It looks like it. Wasn't trying to spoil it, but you, sometimes you can't help but notice that cardboard. But let's hope for an auto or a nice Connor McDavid rookie. You can still get in here on the Canada Juniors. So Mitchell Van Sample, Josh Morrissey, Jamie Lee Ratray, Sarah Davis. We got in exclusives. Josh Morrissey, yeah, out of 199, 95 of 199. Our decoy and Zachary Swachenko, or I'm sorry, Swachenko. So an exclusive there, Josh Morrissey. Our last chance here for McDavid, full force. Let's get lucky here. I definitely don't have any Connor McDavid's in the full force. Only open loose packs of this prior, and I haven't had much luck. Just all base cards, I think, and uh, never pulled anything good. Certainly not a Connor McDavid. All right, let's see what we got here. So, Corey Schneider, Matt Molson, immediate impact, Shane Prince, of course. Oh, freaking Shane Prince. He haunts me in my hunt for Connor McDavid. I have so many Shane Prince things. But I'll take that for the PC. Nice Sid the Kid. Sidney Crosby, very nice. And Tyler Johnson, no longer of the Tampa Lightning. So, there you go, guys. There was the kind of brief little McDavid hunt. Not bad, though, you know, still. I like the pack variation stuff. I like that they went with a theme this month and everything else. It's a fun little rip and stuff like that, and it's not going to break the bank, in all honesty, guys, for the, uh, the the price of the packs. So there you go, guys. That was your, uh, we're going to call it the July Wax Box Club McDavid Chase Box. Uh, please do me a favor, like, subscribe, share, click that bell notification button to be notified of future videos. Lots more of them coming to you guys, as always, in the description below. You guys can find my email address, mailing address, and Instagram handle to go with the links to the Waxbox Club. Other than that, have a great day, a great night wherever you all are at, and we will see you next time.